Hey, it's Greg Kinn with my new Beatles novel called Rubber Soul. It's unlike anything you've ever read before. It's a novel, and the Beatles are characters in the novel. It's also a murder mystery. It's also a coming-of-age uh, novel. But I wanted to read one of my favorite passages from the book. This is where Dustbin Bob meets John Lennon and Stuart Sutcliffe for the very first time. Around the corner came two leather-jacketed young men, each with a pink-tipped cigarette jutting from his lips, and each with the swagger of someone who didn't give a damn. Two James Deans, Teddy Boys. They stopped in front of Bobby. What's this, then? The first one said in a thick Scouse accent. The second one shrugged, looking at the prayer rug and the ostrich feathers. A mysterious visitor from the East. They eyed the records. Hold on, what's this? Bobby noticed their hair, greasy, swept back, just spilling over their collars. You know, they looked a bit scruffy and uneven sideboards and tight stovepipe trousers. The first one picked up a record and read the label. Chuck Berry? Chuck Berry? No, it can't be. Let me see that. Blimey, little Richard, Bo Diddley, where did you get these? Bobby smiled, letting the slight gap between his front teeth show. Oh, I have a special source, straight from America. Those are brand new releases. You can't get them anywhere else. Do you have any idea what you've got here? Bobby nodded. Actually, yes, I do. It's the bloody Holy Grail. The two men exchanged astonished glances. Are these for sale? Yes, they are. The two teddy boys shifted on their feet. Well, to tell you the truth, mate, we're in a beat group, and this is just the type of music that we play. You know, American rock and roll. I'm John, and this is Stu. John stuck out a hand. There was something in the way he stood that suggested a coolness far beyond anything Bobby had known. There you go. John and Stu meet Dustbin Bob for the first time in Rubber Soul, which you can buy now at Amazon.gregkin.com